Hello everyone, welcome back to Hook 2. We are here on level 76. We have shapes attached to switches, which attach to rods. And we need to remove all the rods. So, it looks like squares want to be up first. How are we going to do that if... Oh, okay. I understand, I think. We need to come from our switch to the circle. The circle goes around to the square. The square pulls on the pins. And then circle goes to triangle to do it the other way. 77. All right. I imagine we might have some more of that here. Start with an isolated circle to get rid of this pin. Then, how about a square? Good. And then we can just do a triangle. 78. Okay, well... Clearly want these four pins out first. And we have two possible switches to throw. So that's a circle. That's a circle. That goes to a square. That goes to a square. Good. We can go through this circle, to that circle, to this triangle, to that triangle. We can go to this square, to that square, to that triangle, to here. And then it's just hooks remaining, so some of that's going to be really easy. And we want a circle a triangle, a square. It's not complicated at all. And that one can just go square to square. Lovely. 79. Okay. Well. Where do we begin? There's a long pin here. That doesn't look like a good place to start, does it? How about this long pin attached to a square? But I don't want anything attached to a triangle. I'm hoping this works. Great success. All right, this circle can touch those two things. Very nice. All right, back to the square. And then we can do two circles here. And now we have the opposing side. We can use a circle to pull on that if we want to. In fact, if we do it this way around, that'll be just fine. Then we need triangle like that. Good. Then we want triangle again. circle and then lastly triangle once more right on to 80 okay I 
I think we can start here. There's nothing connected there. There's only one long pin connected here. Great start. And then we can do the same on the opposing orientation. Then we want this long one, which is connected to a square. How am I going to get to a square? We go triangle, triangle, circle, circle, square. Triangle. Oh, wait. There we go. So now I want square. Good. Then we want circle. Circle again. Huh? Right. This one comes up to here. Has to come across this way to a circle. Circle meets triangle. Good. Then we want the left hand side first. So triangle goes straight to a triangle. And then square meets directly with a square. Eighty one. Okay, we've got diodes, switches, circles, and shapes. And only two pins to remove. So, we have to do this line first. Just going to come to here. Just going to come to here, which needs that to be connected to a circle. Then we do that and that. And that I need you to be connected to a square. Fairly painless. 82. Okay. How would I go about getting this straight line connects to a circle? That circle connects to a square, which connects back to here. So that's not going to work out yet, I don't think. That one goes to a square. We can do this. Good. We can do that one just on its own. Then this one is a line going to a square, square going to a power source. And then these are all independent of one another. Excuse you. Thank you. That's a square. We can do that one there. We need that square powered from the opposing side. 83. Alright, that's a long one. First of all, we could take this pin, that pin, this pin. And we've got a power connector here. Not that one first. It can be that one first, I think. Good. That comes to a triangle, which can then go to that one. Also good. Okay, so follow along here. We're going to start at our button. Goes all the way along to a triangle. Transfers to the other triangle, which goes all the way along the line to the power source. Then the power source comes to this rod here. Then we need to do the square. So it's the same power source, but with the line connecting to the square all the way along. Then we can do that one without issue. And can we open this up to triangle? We can. 84. Okay. 
This straight line here strikes me as a great first move. We want it on triangle. Or circle. Also, we've got a power switch there to concern ourselves with. So, line comes out. Chicanes to a triangle. Triangle chicanes to a circle. Circle chicanes to a power source. Does this work? No, we get caught up on the square. So, square can't match something else. So, that's not correct. Button to power source, power source to circle, circle to triangle. That looks good. Right, one down. Puzzle. Be oriented the way I want you. Thank you. Uh, this line looks good next. That one we can just do straight away. Then this one in the center. Connect power to power. That's not going to go. How about square to triangle, triangle to circle, circle to power? Nope. Circle to power. Helps if all your lines. Nope. <laughs> okay. I want. Okay, well it helps. It starts that I need this line. So it needs that needs to be attached to something. Attached to a square. That should have been more obvious. This one connects to a circle. The circle connects to the power. Good. That one is a freebie. Then, oh, image. That'll do. He says, still manipulating it a lot. Right, we want this line here. Triangle to triangle. Triangle to power source. Square, circle, circle needs to be touching the original line. So in that case, we can just go line to power source, power source to dot. No need to complicate it more than that. And we need this one here. So we can go out to the circle. Circle, triangle, triangle to square, square to us. And the last one, we can just do that. 85. Okay. We've got a pair of solid lines there and another one here. Apart from the power switches, there's nothing else on the other planes of existence. And I can't decide how this was oriented to begin with. I mean, interestingly, on this side, these are the solid lines. Whereas if I flip the whole puzzle over, they're still the solid lines. That's interesting. Okay. So, our button has to connect to one of the power supplies to do anything. So, how are we going to get to the lines we need without interrupting the lines we don't want? Because we can't send power through here. Because that'll do... Oh, we can do... We 
We can do that. That will get this long line and that long line through power. Good. Oh, God. Yep. Around. Nope. Okay. That's good. So we've got this one and that one. Is there something comparable on the other side? Not really, because we have to interrupt one of those two first. So... We did triangle only. We could... And that to there. That to there. And not that. How would we throw the triangular switch, though? Do that side. That's the circular switch. But we can't throw the circular switch here from either. Interesting. What can we do? We can't remove any of these or any of those, so it has to be stuff on this side of the puzzle. But we can't send a circle signal to a triangle signal. Without interrupting the lines to the left and right. We could do this circle line here on its own. Okay. How would we get to that though? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't doesn't work out so smoothly, does it? Okay, we can do this line on its own through the power supply. Good. Okay. Little pieces of progress. Now we can do this line on its own through the power supply. Then we can do these two through the circle. And then the circle will come to here and not there. That's good. We can get three in one there. Right, this can be pulled out safely. But not on the other side. But we can do that to the circle. Then we can do both of these against a square. Which we can do that way, in fact. Then can we do a circle. Yes, we can, because we can use this side to make a straight line to a circle. We do that one over there. Alright, we're making good progress. I don't want to make a load of foolish errors now, though. Um, sorry, I got distracted thinking about how, right now, you can't see where the antenna is on the sphere. And if I do this, you can't tell if it's in front or behind of it until we get to an angle sufficient to see it on one side or the other. Because now it looks like it could be poking out from the back. It, it is. What? It's on this side. I've... Is it changing what side it's on? I'm very confused. Let's get back to the puzzle. Um, right. Can I reorient this as it was? About that seems fine. 
Right, we could do a triangle to here and a triangle to there and to there. How can I power a triangle? Like that. Through a circle. Good. Then we can do just that one on its own. Then we've got square, triangle, triangle, square, circle. Oh god, I biffed it. Oh, did I do that by mistake? Yes. Right, then we can clear those two out of that side. I swear the ball is swapping which side of the sphere it's on, right? That's trippy. Right, that goes over there. Oh, we need that connected. Right, not too many mistakes that can be made. We just want one triangle piece now off a square then these two but not a circle and then one circle and we're done 86 okay What can we do first? This tiny one here, we can do. We need a square for that. There's a square. And how are we powering this? A great question. We're here. So we're gonna have to go to a triangle or a circle. Triangle gets us to power. So that goes to the triangle. Triangle goes to power. Power. Are we. Hold on. <laughs> no, what? Oh, we were working on this square. So, I want to remove this tiny nub. This tiny nub connects to a square. There's a square over here, which connects to a power line, which goes to a triangle. Which then comes out of a triangle to our button. So I need to connect these two pips. And push that button. And the tiny little rod is gone. So now we can do this big long one here. Out of a square as well. So. Button to triangle. Triangle to power. Power to square. Square to line. Good. What's next? This one here. Button to triangle, triangle to power, power to line. Good. This long straight one here. Right, how are we getting to power though? Oh, there's another tiny dimpy one here as well. Uh, we can go power to triangle, triangle and then connect those two power sources up get rid of that tiny one there we could do this line here if we connect it to a circle which is easy enough right so then it was just this one here we can do so Triangle, triangle power, circle. That doesn't look like it works, does it? Get a fresh perspective. How about this perspective? It's this long one. It's about the same perspective, isn't it? 
This long one here can be removed. It's the only one that can be removed. If we go this way, we connect with this line, which will never work. But must go this way. If it's going this way, it must connect to the triangle. The triangle can connect to the circle. The circle connects to our button. Then we can do this guy here. Connects to that power. Or a circle. If it connects to the circle, we can go straight off. And we've got this long one. Connects to a triangle, which is that one. Then this line here can just go straight away. Then this line here. Connects to that power source. That power source connects to a triangle. And then that one can go. And then it's just this guy. How can we get that? Circle. The circle. The triangle. Good. 87. More levels coming soon. Thanks for playing. Well... Looks like there's no solution here. All right, well, that was Hooked 2. So, if you enjoyed that, do let me know and do put your comments down below if you would like a copy of the game. I have a couple of keys still to go, so I imagine in lieu of anything else i will probably just give those to people in the comments maybe if you go follow me over on twitter i'll do a twitter post and give one away to someone there as well but for now thank you guys ever so much for watching this has been really fun if you enjoyed this there's much more puzzle content in the annals of history of the channel with playlists for all of it if you have any questions or comments or recommendations you can put those down below otherwise i'll see you in the next one cheers